On a story we first brought you last night, an unusual pet is removed from the backyard of a rural Rhode Island home. News Chapter 12 over Gloucester, where today a 90-pound mountain lion was taken away by an animal rescue group so it can be relocated to another home. And tonight we're getting our first look at the big cat, which surprisingly called Gloucester home for more than a decade. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau joins us now live from Providence with information that's new at 5. And according to the DEM, a mountain lion in today's Rhode Island would end up somewhere like Roger Williams Park Zoo. But the owner of Narla tells us she was a different sort of cat. Okay, please. Can I try it? 13-year-old Narla was about 90 try pounds it. and lived in this pen in Gloucester, right behind her owner's home. Very friendly, very affectionate, according to Marilyn Loppy. I used to go out there and hand feed her every day. I'm going to miss her. The Loppies had an exotic animal permit through DEM to keep Narla. Gloucester Animal Control also knew about her. Sad Pliny, it was well taken care of, it was very healthy. When's the last time you saw it? Probably during the summer, last summer. I believe they could uh, walk up to it and do anything they wanted, just like a, a pet cat. It's a big cat. Uh, absolutely. Loppy's husband passed away last May, and she then realized she couldn't afford to take care of the mountain lion. This morning, the organization Big Cat Rescue took this big cat to a wildlife sanctuary in Florida. Local residents used to seeing her on Whipple Road will miss her. Sometimes he would just slow down. Um, sometimes he would stop and just look at him, just watch what he was doing. Sometimes you couldn't even see him. Sometimes he's just laying down in the back corner. I think a wildlife sanctuary would be better because not a lot of people have mountain lions and someone else could take care of it better if they're trained to do it. You know? And tonight at 6, more from DEM about the difference in the permitting process between now and when Narla first came to Rhode Island. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Walt Butel, Eyewitness News.